Happy Thanksgiving. Halatang nakapag-devotions na. <laughs> we have been um, having celebration of Thanksgiving in different ways. Um, we have um, attempted this year, which is kind of different because we've never done this in the past. Uh, Nag-handle tayo ng series on Thanksgiving using not only our Sunday gatherings, kundi pati rin ang ating midweek, which we call ethos, pati rin ang ating anchored. And we will be having our last topic, not this, not today, but actually on Wednesday, when Pastor Dave comes to handle the topic, Think Thanks. At gusto ko lang po ngayon just to make us understand that there is something about thanksgiving that is so important. Kaya ang ating opening scripture is in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. And um, maraming salamat for our people in the Philippines. I see that uh, there's even... Sandali ah, titignan ko lang. Medyo ano eh. San Francisco pala yon. Okay. So... Uh, even PV North gathered today um, in their own in their in their center. Maraming salamat for joining us. We also have PV South today uh, gathering for their Sunday service. Yet despite that, uh, they have come and woke up early. Um, in fact, this uh, just to join us uh, anchored. There was somebody who texted me this morning. Sabi niya, parang mali para sa Philippines at saka Australia. He's actually a friend of mine. And sabi ko sa kanya, hindi actually tama yan. They're going to wake up really early to be able to join us today. And we kind of see, as we look at the history of Thanksgiving, which did not start in Mayflower when that was declared by Governor William Bradford of the Pilgrims. Pag tinignan talaga natin ng history ng Thanksgiving, it's actually, um, it actually started during the time of the Jews when they were told to have celebrations, not just one, but three celebrations of Thanksgiving. Among the seven festivals that they do annually, three of that are actually celebrations of gratitude. And it might be good for us to review a few things with regards to that para maintindihan natin why Thanksgiving is really a very important matter for us to consider, yung attitude of gratitude. So 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18, we were told, give thanks in all circumstances, not for all, because not all circumstances are something to be grateful for. May mga bagay that happens in our lives that we could not find ourselves thanking God, but we can thank God in it. Not after it's done, ah, yun pala ang dahilan nun. Ah, yun pala ang nangyari. No, even in the midst of the suffering, we are to give thanks. Sabi niya, give thanks in all circumstances. And then he adds this, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Can we look at the person beside you? If you're at the um, virtual and you're, you're seated with somebody, pakitakip mo yan, sabi mo sa kanya, God's will for you is for you to be a grateful person. Now, let me say this, ano po? Alam niyo po, many times, the will of God is oftentimes connected to choices and decisions. Do I turn left? Do I turn, turn right? Ways, ano ba? Google map, left ba tayo dito? Right ba tayo dito? But before we decide on whether to go left or right as our next step in the direction, the one way that we have to determine first is, am I and Ways and Google in sync? in agreement to the final destination. Tama? Because if that was not determined, papunta ka ng Cebu, eh gusto ng Lord pumunta ng uh, pababa, eh gusto ng Lord pumunta ng Baguio, mali. Kahit anong left and right, mali pa rin yan. If God wants to go to San Francisco, and you're on your way down to San Diego, Mexico, manako, kahit na anong left and right, hindi siya ayos. And you look at the Bible, there are scriptures where it talks about the ultimate, final, the general will of God. One of them is this. This is God's will for you. Before talking about, Lord, which choice should I take? Should I take this career? Should I answer this person? Should I retire here? Is this the college I'm supposed to apply in? Bago yung mga yun, let's go for the general will. 
the will, for example, of being grateful. Or in 1 John chapter 2, verse 5, do not love the world or anything in the world. For everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life, they don't come from the Father but from the world. And guess what? The world and its desires pass away, but whoever does the will of God lives forever. Don't tayo. Before seeking the will of God for detailed and specific matters, what about the general and the overall, overall will of God? Like, this is the will of God, your sanctification. 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 3, that you abstain from sexual immorality. Those are the most important will of God. And today, we're zeroing in on the attitude of gratitude. And sinabi niya, yan ang kalooban ko sa'yo. No matter what you're going through, that you're a grateful person. Again, look at that person beside you. Yan, nako, ito na naman tayo. Nako, si GBA na resurrect ang aming mga look at the person beside you. Yan, pakisabi mo dun sa person beside you, God's will for you is to increase in being grateful. Sabi mo sa kanya, thank you, ha? Yan, 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 yan. Now, there's a poll that was taken, and the poll done by Berkeley, Berkeley Education said this, more than 90% agreed that greater, grateful people are more fulfilled. They live or lead richer lives. They're more likely to have friends. 93% agreed that grateful bosses were more likely to be successful. Ayoko maging magsabi ng thank you. Kasi para akong weak niyan. Hindi, hindi. Actually, on the contrary, only 18% thought that grateful bosses would be seen as actually weak. Now, watch what this person, Melody Biati, would say about gratefulness. Pakinggan niyo po mabuti. Itong nagagawa ng gratitude. Gratitude unlocks the fullness of life. Para magkaroon ng kapuspusan ng buhay. It's, it turns what we have into enough. Nagkakaroon ng contentment eh. And more. It turns denial into acceptance. Natatanggap mo kung ano dinadaanan mo. Chaos to order. Pag marami magkakagalit, pag ang gulo-gulo, biglang nagkakaroon ng kapayapaan. Confusion brings clarity. It can turn a meal into a feast. Wala yan sa kinakain. A house into a home, may pagmamahalan. A stranger into a friend. Gratitude makes sense of our past. It brings peace to our present and creates a vision for tomorrow. The woman responsible for Thanksgiving is a woman I always talk about during Thanksgiving. Um, she's an advocate for two things. Ito yung pinaglalaban niya. Happiness and higher vocation for women. She is the first of a lot of things for the women, but we won't talk about that. Ito na lang. She was the first woman editor of a magazine sa Amerika. Siya ang unang babaeng editor dito sa Amerika. Marami siyang firsts. Dito na lang tayo. Ang pangalan ng kanyang magazine ay Goody's Lady Book, the highest circulating and most popular women's magazine of her era. Kaya ang tawag sa kanya Martha Stewart's of her time. It was credited with having a great influence over the reading, learning, and even political consciousness of women across America. Yan yung tao na, that, that, that she was, she's the person that, we, that was responsible for us celebrating every fourth Thursday of November as Happy Thanksgiving Day in America. She's also the one who wrote the words to the nursery rhyme, Mary had a little lamb. Alam nyo ba yun? Yun yung, Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Okay, alam natin, alam natin. Now, ito po ang sabi. Mary, uh, this woman, Sarah Josepha Buell Hale, seeing the need to fight for positivity and a culture of happiness, how many of you felt so happy after hearing people saying thank you to God? I thank God for this, I thank God. Parang meron siyang dopamine na pumasok na parang ang saya-saya. 
after you received some texts from people saying, thank you for this, thank you for that, parang kami dopamine, parang kami nag-inject, na, parang masaya ka lang. Yan. How many of you felt that? Could I see your hands? Yan. Parang sa, sa, ilan sa inyo parang wala lang. Yan, yan, yan. Meron ba? Meron ba? Yan, sabi niya dito, Seeing the need to fight for positivity in a culture of happiness, she desperately fought for National Thanksgiving holiday for the American people. So for 40 years, for 40 years, she wrote to congressmen and lobbied five presidents, limang presidente. She started doing this as a young widow. She was 34 years old. Imagine Lola na siya nung naaprovan. Plus 40. She was a widow. She just lost a father, a husband, and five children. She had five children at the time when four of those kids were under seven years old. Grabe, no? When she wrote the final words to the December 1877 issue of Godi's Lady Book, she said this, having reached my 90th year, I say goodbye to my countrywomen with the hope that this work of half a century, 50 years ko na itong ginagawa, may be blessed for the furtherance of their happiness. Dinuktong niya yung happiness at saka usefulness ng tao and usefulness in their divinely appointed spheres. For her, a person needs to be happy and to be happy is to be grateful. And therefore, she agrees with Berkeley study it's those that are thankful that succeed well in their appointed spheres in life. New avenues for higher culture and good works are opening before us, which 50 years ago were unknown, that they may improve these opportunities. That sa magitan nila, ma-improve pa itong mga opportunities na yon, at magarong pa sila ng faithfulness to their higher voc vocation. Sabi niya that is my heartfelt prayer for them. This is a woman who understands dopamine, happiness is needed for one to succeed. But happiness comes to those that are grateful. Douglas Wood said, the heart that gives thanks is a happy one. Tinan mo ngayon tao sa tabi mo ulit. Tanong mo nga sa happy ka ba? Kasi sabi, for we cannot feel thankful and unhappy at the same time. Grabe, no? Researchers in positive psychology have found that gratitude and happiness are always strongly correlated. A positive theory is that gratitude moves people to experience more positive emotions Gratitude moves people to better their health. Kailangan ko to. Gratitude. Gratitude moves people to face adversity. Gratitude moves people to develop and maintain relationships of strength. Germany Kent. Ang pangalan niya, Germany Kent, pero American broadcast journalist siya. <laughs> it's a funny thing about life. Once you begin to take note of the things that you are grateful for, you begin to lose sight of the things that you lack. That's why grateful people are the most contented people. We see that with a woman called, Alexa, uh, called Helen Keller. Supposedly at age two, lost three of her eyesight's functions. Succeeded to become even the friends of the likes of Oliver Wendell Holmes or Alexander Bell or Mark Twain. One time about Thanksgiving, etong sabi niya, three things I thank God every day for my life. Deep thanks. That he has vouchsafed within me the knowledge of his works. Deep thanks that he has set in my darkness. Madilim, wala akong makita. The lamp of faith. And deepest th thanks that I have another life to look forward to. A life joyous with light and flowers. 
Bingi ho ito. Hindi ho ito makakita. Looking forward to a life joyous with light, flowers, and heavenly song. Andun ho mga mata niya. So much has been given to me. I have no time to ponder over that which has been denied. Grabe ano? No wonder she became Helen Keller. The struggle of life is one of the greatest blessings. It makes us patient, sensitive, and godlike. It teaches us, although the world is full of suffering, it is also full of the overcoming of it. Truth is, hindi ho normal or natural sa ating maging thankful. It is against the nature of man to be grateful. In fact, sabi ng isang tao, gratitude does not come naturally to us. Natural tendency is to see, think, what we lack rather than what we have. Agree? That natural tendency is to see and think what is imperfect rather what had been improved. What is not yet attained rather than which has been already gained. The natural tendency is to look at that which is not rather than that which we already are. Agree? And that's why we have to fight it. Kinakailangan natin ilaban yan. Because science of the last days tells us, mark this, 2 Timothy chapter 3. It will be very hard, terrible times in the last days. Not because of people. Not, I'm sorry, not because of situations. Hindi dahil mahirap ang buhay. It's people that makes it hard to live. And the characteristics of these people, they'll be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to their parents. And here it is, ungrateful. We have to fight it. And I guess this is the reason why today I just want us to see something like the path to the realm of thanks. Meron pong realm, meron pong mundo ang thanksgiving where everything is positive, there is more peace, there is contentment, relationships are thriving, relationship with God in faith opens us to a lot of His blessings. And that's why the Lord says, it's God's will for us that no matter where we are, Attitude of gratitude, we give thanks. Ano yung path na yon? Where do we start? Well, it starts with number one, think thanks. This will be handled by Pastor Dave this coming Wednesday. I'm excited for that one. But it starts here. The Anglo-Saxon word for think and thanks is the same. Thus, it tells us, think thanks. Hawa ka mga utak mo. Sabi mo nga, think sex, think sex. We need to be more intentional. We need to be more deliberate because it does not come natural to the state of our existence. And that's the reason why yun ang ginawa po ni Sarah Josepha Hale. She fought for a national holiday of Thanksgiving for us. Sabi nga ni Hugh Downs, a happy person. How many of you want to be happy? Happy. Patingin nga, yan. Tingnan mo nga yung tao mo sa tabi. Sabi mga, happy ka ba? Yan. Okay. <laughs> yes po. I see you waving hands. <laughs> a happy person is not a person in a certain set of circumstances. But rather a person with a certain set of attitudes. Wala yan sa dinaraanan. I think it was Pastor Amber who said last, I think that was last Sunday, when she said, sometimes we want God to still the storm that we're in when God wants to still the storm that is in us. Yung dito sa loob. That's the world that's more important, the world inside. And I guess that's the reason why, sabi ng Lord sa atin, I guess that's the reason why the Lord is saying, in everything, in all circumstances, kasama yung dark and difficult times. Why? 
Antoine de Saint-Exupéry, si Little Prince, etong sabi niya. Kasi the meaning of life, of things, they lie not in the things themselves. Yung kahulugan ng dinaraanan mo, wala yan dun sa dinaraanan mo. It's not in the things themselves, but in our attitude towards them. Khalil Gibran, for your living is determined not so much, but by not so much by what life brings to you, as by the attitude you bring to life. Not so much by what happens to you, as by the way your mind looks at what happens. Reality is not what is happening to you. It's what you think is happening to you. Ang tanong, when you look at the situation, when you go through a situation, are you a traveler or are you a pilgrim? Because a traveler does not see anything beyond the external things. A pilgrim, that's why they're called the pilgrims, the people that came here. They take a pilgrimage of the soul. It's founded in Psalm 84, verse 5 and following. Happy. How many of you are happy? Could I see your hands? <laughs> Puro happy na lang ito. Happy Thanksgiving. Buti na lang, hindi sad Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy are those whose strength is in the Lord. Sino sila? It's again, if they think thanks. Who set their minds on a pilgrimage. So, bumabiyahi sila sa labas, they travel life, but inside, their mind is in a pilgrimage. They walk to the valley of weeping, a valley of, we call it baka, B-A-C-A, a valley of weeping, of sadness. They walk to the valley of weeping, but it will become a place of refreshing springs. Umiiyak sila, pero yung luhang yun, those liquids of tears turn into refreshing springs where pools of blessings collect after the rain. You know how refreshing that could be? To hear spring of water flowing. To hear the raindrops. Sometimes you have apps where they are supposed to assist you to sleep. And when you turn that on, the sound is water. How many of you use that app? Anyone here? Okay, one. Oh, we have a lot. Okay. And then he said this. They will continue to grow stronger and each of them will appear before God. They are not only strong. They'll grow stronger. Why? Because those that go through life not as travelers but as pilgrims from inside, the strength comes from within independent of anything from without. They eventually overcome. They do not undergo. And yun ang dahilan kung bakit sinabi ng Lord, this is His well. Be grateful. When you're praying, be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer. With thanksgiving, let your request be made known. You're anxious but when you pray, with thanksgiving. Take time to reflect. Remember. Enter more into the soul. Why did the Lord allow this? The God that loves me, the God that knows best, if I look at the past and I remember his benefits, then the problem itself diminishes in size. And once again, the magnitude of my God becomes my dominant thought and affection, not grabbed and taken away, stolen from me by the circumstances that demands my attention. That's the beauty of gratitude. Kaya sabi dito, and guess what happens? The peace of God which surpasses all comprehension will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. The first Thanksgiving that was declared here in America was done by the pilgrims. It's the most controversial Thanksgiving celebration ever because they're oftentimes lumped together with the Puritans. There were two kinds of people that came from England. The Puritans, where Wesley and George Whitfield came from, the Methodists. And the Pilgrims, they were called the dissenters or the separatists. Once upon a time, England became very, uh, very corrupted, yung Anglican Church. And there were people that were inside that felt that they can fix the problem of England from within, the Church of England. 
somehow ever felt they cannot fix it, so they separated and they were called the separatists. Ang mga dumating ditong Puritans, nagkaroon ng problema sa mga Indians. Kaya nung dumating dito yung mga pilgrims, nung 1620, they were lumped in with the Puritans. But we were oftentimes reminded that they were of a different breed. Hindi sila nun. In fact, Paul Hale said, the pilgrims as Christians modeled the right way to interact with the native population. Unlike later settlers who did not share their commitment to Christian principles. They were of a different breed. I won't go through anong dinaanan nila sa pag-travel nila dito because sobra hong dami nilang dinaanan. They were 102 pilgrims that came here. They could have settled for South America, specifically Guyana, Guyana and South America, na sinasabi ni Walter Raleigh, English already had a foothold. It was rich, fruitful, and blessed with a perpetual spring and an abundance of gold mines. But when they went to America, they didn't go for gold. They went for God. They came here for God. And so the people that went to the north went for God. The people from England that went to the south went for gold. Nung dumating sila dito, after three long months at sea, the bodies weakened, finally succumbing to scurvy. Pilgrims started dying. Six dead in December, eight in January. In February at a rate of two a day or even three on some days. 21st of February, apat ang namatay. One period, the whole company, in the whole company, only five were well enough to care for the sick. Imagine yun, you know? This is worse than our COVID. In the month, in that month, there were 17 dead. Pasok ang March, 17 more died. When the worst was finally over, over they had lost 47 people nearly half of their original number. 13 out of 18 wives died. Only three families remained unbroken. Of all the first comers, the children fared the best. Of seven daughters, none died. Of 13 sons, only three survived. And the colony, which was young to begin with, was even younger now. This was the group that had three days of Thanksgiving with Chief Masasoit of the, Man of the Wampanoag tribe. And they celebrated Thanksgiving. Western Mayor said, the pilgrims made seven times more graves than huts. No Americans has been more impoverished than those who nevertheless set the first day of Thanksgiving celebration in America. They're called the pilgrims. Ito hong biyahe nila. In everything. Not for everything. Pero habang dumadaan ka, bakit ho importante yan? There's a man by the name of Mark Hansen that said this. Sabi niya, you were born rich with 18 billion bountiful, beautiful, totally available, and in all probability, underused brain cells awaiting your desire decision, directional compass to take you onward, upward, and Godward. You hearing this? Can I repeat it? Ulitin ko po. Hawakan niyo yung utak niyo. Yan. Hawakan niyo ito. Yan, yan, yan. You were born rich with 18 billion totally available underused brain cells. Ganun kadaming brain cells yon. Awaiting your desire. Saan mo sila darating? Da, 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 I-direct. I Decision and directional compass. Saan mo sila i-head? To take you onward, upward, Godward. Will you be a traveler? Or a pilgrim? Will you take it a journey from within? And bring your entire being into an upward movement towards God? In everything, give thanks. Yun po ang dahilan kung bakit sinasabi sa atin, think thanks. Sabi nga na G.K. Chesterton, Jester, Jesterton, I would maintain that thanks are the highest form of thoughts. Pasensya na ho kayo. Matagal na ako tinagtuturo eh. Yun na, tapos na tayo. <laughs> but let me just say this. The path is towards this. One, 
We're supposed to think things. But that's not, that's just the beginning. It needs to be expressed. The, Pastor Alex taught on that last week. Very, very important. Grabe ho, Jesus did something that we did not do. We could not do. He actually expressed his disdain for ingratitude. When the lepers were coming to him and shouting, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on us. That was not a regular shout of lepers. The shout of the lepers had always been, unclean, unclean. Kasi may social distancing. May COVID sila. Mas malala pa. And they're supposed to warn people from coming close to them. But that was not what they shouted. From a distance, sabi nga ng Bible, they shouted, Lord, have mercy! Son of David! Yun ang kanilang sinigaw. Save us! When Jesus told them, go to the priest, magpa-testing ka, tiyak negative ka na. Habang pumupunta ka pa lang doon, gumagaling ka. There were ten. Only one out of ten returns in life. Why? Because our tendency is to be ungrateful. We have to fight against it. Wow, suddenly I will enjoy the house. I will embrace my children and my loved ones. Wow, suddenly I can take a bath. I mean, I was placed in um, quarantine upon arrival in, in the Philippines. I think that was 2020. I spent December 24, 25 in the hotel. Man, I was itching to get out of the hotel. Talagang Lord. Sige na. Sinulat. Ito, totoo ito. Tanong niyo po yung kapatid ko. Sinulat ko si Duterte. Kasi di ba merong ganon, you write Duterte pagka, ano, pagka you're not being... Sinulatan ko si Duterte kasi ayaw lumabas ng results ko. Ganon ako ka-desperate. Ilan araw ba yun? Tatlo. But imagine these people. And the tendency for us to enjoy life that we have asked God from, for, because it takes time to go back. And the beauty was, he fell down on his knees. And as passionate as his asking for God was his passion for saying thank you to God. And guess what? The Lord said something that many of us would not say. Yan, parang walang utang na loob yan. Ayaw natin sabihin yan eh. Bakit? Kasi mukha ka namang insecure. Nagahanap ka pa ng thank you. Kala ko ba audience of one? Diba? But can, look at him. Where are the nine? Where are they healed? Was only one healed to have come back. Amen, no? Go your way. You're healed. And friends, the Lord tells us to say thank you. Because as, we, as uh, Pastor Alex kept on reminding us last Wednesday, when it comes to gratitude... Emotion is nothing. Expression is everything. Ulitin ko. When it comes to gratitude, what you feel and think is nothing. It's when you say it and give it that it matters. More specific, more sincere. Thank you, ah. Para saan? Alam mo na yun. <laughs> Because it's when we say it that we start to mean it. The more we say it, the more we mean it. And friends, that's the way to safeguard us. From whom? From ourselves. From ourselves. Where's that? It's in the Bible. Deuteronomy 8, verse 10. When you've eaten, you're satisfied, praise the Lord your God. Be careful, verse 11, you don't forget the Lord your God. Because Satan does not fill you with hatred for God. He fills you with forgetfulness of God. I believe naman in Him, eh. Oh, nga. I love Him naman, eh. Oh, nga. I, I pray to Him. Okay. But is He your dominant thought and affection? Has it come to a point whereby it affects your life and not just an hour on a Sunday? Does it come to a point where it affects every choice, every affection, everything that you are? Kaya hon sabi dito, uh, 
be careful that you don't forget. Because when you've eaten and are satisfied, you build fine houses and settle down. Your herds and flocks grow large and your silver and gold increase. And you have multiplied. Ito ang problema. Verse 14. And that's why the more we are being raised up by the Lord, the more we find the success of the Lord. My gosh. Lord, kawaan nyo kami. I mean, suddenly my papers have been fixed. Suddenly, now I have a staple job. Lord, suddenly, my 401k is more established. Lord, nakakapag, na, nakakapag-invest na ako. Aming maayos na ang retirement ko. Panginoon, mga anak ko, stable na. Lord, hindi na kami isang kahit isang tuka. Kami na nga nagiging blessing sa iba. I don't know where we are. But in everything, hirap ka man o masarap man ang buhay, give thanks. Why? That because if not, verse 14, your heart will become proud and you'll forget the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt, the land of sex slavery. And you may say to yourself, it's my power. Sinasabi ni Amber last Sunday. And the strength of my hands. Magaling kasi ako eh. Masipag kasi ako eh. Driven kasi ako eh. Kaling ng work ethics ko eh. Kaling kasi ng utak, matalino ako, nagmana ako sa nanay ko, sa tatay ko, sa lola ko, sa lolo ko. Have produced this wealth for me. But remember the Lord your God. It is He who gives the ability to produce wealth. Sobrang importante, no? No wonder Abraham Lincoln in 1863 finally gave way to Sarah Josepha Hale and said, let's proclaim a thanksgiving day set apart is set apart natin. We have been recipients of the choicest bounties of heaven. We have been preserved the many years in peace and prosperity. We have grown in numbers, wealth and power, as no other nation has ever grown. But we have forgotten God. Deuteronomy 8 happened. We have forgotten the gracious hand which preserved us in peace. We have forgotten God who multiplied and enriched and strengthened us. And we became deceived. And we have vainly imagined in the deceitfulness of our hearts that all these blessings were produced by some superior wisdom and virtue of our own. This is what happens when we forget gratitude. Nakiging mayabang tayo. Intoxicated with unbroken success. Eto na. We have become too self-sufficient to feel the necessity of redeeming and preserving grace. Mabait naman, pero independent of God. Too proud to pray that God made us. It behooves us then to humble ourselves, I like this, before the offended power to confess our sins and to pray for clemency and forgiveness. Galatians 6 verse 3. If anyone thinks he is something when he is nothing, he deceives himself. Ang tao po na hindi grateful, deceived. Ano ba deceived sa Tagalog? Ha? Linlang. Yan. Second generation, your Filipino word for today, Tagalog word, linlang. Can you look at that person beside you and can you say, wag kang linlang. <laughs> Romans 1.21 Yes, they knew about God. They wouldn't admit it or worship Him or even thank Him for His daily care. Kilala naman nila. Kaya lang, they would not admit or worship or thank Him. The result was, their foolish minds became dark and confused. And that's the reason why importante po talaga na we say thank you. Hindi lang sa Diyos, kundi din sa tao. And um, lagi natin kinukot yung first, yung Philippians 1 verse 3 dito, I thank my God every time I remember you. Yung taong grateful, ito pong nangyayari sa kanya. Oh. Romans 10 verse 12. Tingnan niyo itong mga scriptures na ito. Honor one another above yourself. Sabi mo nga, again, again, sorry. Tignan din yung like katabi mo. Sabi mo nga sa kanya, I honor you above myself. Yan. 
Tingnan niyo po, ang ganda ho niyang scripture na yan, Romans chapter 10 at saka Romans chapter 12. Tingnan niyo po yung Philippians 2. Sabihin mo nga sa tao at sa tabi mo, I value you above myself. Yan ho. Yan ang mga scriptures po na nasa sa atin. Yesterday was Thanksgiving. And um, many people greeted Thanksgiving. Um, we each greeted one another Thanksgiving. There was one who, she's actually here today. That put her in her spot. She gave me a beautiful um, text, uh, a quote from Shauna Nequist. And I think this is something that we hope that we are, that we can thank God for one another in, in PV, that we are the brave space of each other. Ako po, I'm personally thankful, and we've heard it over and over again. Hindi lang ho sa ating mga walks, yung ating the, the willing unknowns, we thank the Lord sa lahat ng nagvo-volunteer na hindi na-acknowledge for those that have sacrificed and have given. I mean, from the eldership to the upboard to the huddle guides to the task and the bridge volunteers, the environers, to every deed that has been done, um, seen or unseen, to the audience of one. But tingnan niyo po itong isang text na ito. Everyone has a home team. It's the people you call when you get a flat tire or when something terrible happens. It's the people who near or far knows everything that's wrong with you and love you anyways. These are the ones who tell you their secret, who get themselves a glass of water without asking when they're at your house. Hindi na nagpapaalam, kumuko lang ng tubig. Buti tubig lang. But these are the people who cry when you cry. These are your people, your middle of the night, no matter what, people. Hopefully we could be that to each other. We are the people of the night, at the middle of the night, no matter what people. Ephesians 4, uh, Ephesians 1.16, I have not stopped giving thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers. Just give me two minutes, uh, five minute, more minutes. Start with think, thanks. And then you have to say it. But the more you say it to God, the more you say it to others. You find yourself saying your thanks, not just with words, but with works. Not just saying it with your lips, but with your life. Because your gratitude starts to grip your soul. That's Psalm 103. So it starts with think thanks. Then you start saying the thanks. And then before you know it, you're living the thanks. Your Psalm 103, praise the Lord, O my soul. It's not just the lips that's saying it. He is now in the realm of thanksgiving. He is now a grateful person from within. He is beyond annual thanksgiving holiday. It is not just going through the motion. It's something that is really him. It becomes his motivation for life. It becomes the very heartbeat of his soul. It becomes the very motivation that underlines everything that he does for people and for God. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. Kinakausap niya kaluluwa niya. Forget none of all his benefits. Who forgives our sins, heals our diseases, redeems your life from the pit. How many of you have experienced that? You were in the pit one time. God took you out. Naayos ka. How many of you are there? Or were there pala? Sorry, were there. Wala ka na sa pit. Were there, okay. How many of you are there? Ay, hindi, wag natin sabihan yan. And crowns you with love and compassion. You know, yung bang pakinandam mo na, alam mo ka, ikaw yung Miss Universe kasi sa sobrang attention na binibigay sa'yo, it crowns you with love na ikaw talaga, you know. I remember of a father who passed away and the three children said, akala ko akong favorite niya. <laughs> he crowned each one such a way that everyone felt they were the favorite. Who crowns you with love and compassion. Who satisfies, talagang puspos, yung uhaw mo for whatever, is satisfied with good things. If we're there, 
then we will upgrade Philippians 4, verses 6 to 7. If Philippians 4 will tell us, be anxious for nothing but in prayer with thanksgiving, give your, your request, and the peace of God will transcend all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind. Ito po upgrade, Colossians 3. The peace of God doesn't only transcend your heart and your mind, it will rule your heart. It will be the one that will be followed. That peace is the one that will bring you anywhere. It's going to rule and lead you. Let the peace of Christ rule your hearts because you're called to peace. How do you do that? Be thankful. This is now a life of peace. And whatever you do, apektado na. Yan ang life of peace. Whether in word or deed, do all in the name of Jesus, giving thanks to God. Everything now is... I, you know, Hebrew, Romans chapter 12. After understanding the mercies of God, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, to offer your bodies as living sacrifice, which is your act of service. Yung buong buhay mo, Panginoon. I remember when somebody left us and she was a men we mentored her. I personally mentored her. And she would always say thank you to me, especially during the time that she was about to leave. And I told that person, Huwag ka nalang magpasalamat. Kung saan ka man pupunta, be the best as a minister of God. And we here would say, we're proud that we have become a part of that person's life. We have to say thank you to our loved ones, to our parents. But that's the best thank you. To live a life that our parents can be proud of. To live the life, the values, and the principles that our parents raised us up in and even do better in the legacy of the faith that was passed on to us. How do we say thank you to one another? By showing it in the things that we do. Beyond words, I say thank you. More than lips, I say thank you with my life. That's the realm. But let's not go beyond, just there. Let's end. Let's go to the fourth. Let's offer thanks. Let's offer thanks. Because in 1620, the pilgrims came here and had the celebration of Thanksgiving. 1,500 years after that, George Washington declared Thanksgiving. It was the first Thanksgiving holiday of America. 15 years, 150 years after that again, we have President Lincoln declaring every year there is one day that is set apart for national holiday. Can I have your ears? But long time ago, 3,000 years ago, the Jews were asked by the Lord to have seven feasts, three of which were Thanksgiving holidays. And those three had two things in common. One, they have to travel to Jerusalem. That's why Lincoln said, let's set apart a day. Look at us. We celebrated Thanksgiving. Sabi nga no isang nanay, when you say the Thanksgiving prayer before we eat, Daddy, can you make it short? Because I cooked all the food, and the food will not taste good if you pray so long, because it will no longer be hot. <laughs> it became all about Turkey. It became all about this and that. But you see, Thanksgiving is when we travel to Jerusalem. What we did today, what the people in the Philippines did today, the people in Australia did today, what New York and Sanfo, Europe and Dubai, set it apart. Because that, the, two, the three Thanksgiving were done with one, there is a travel. There was a time where they said, itong araw na ito, Lord, I just want to say, Thank you. That's how precious is it. It is. And more and more, we're straying away from the real essence of what Happy Thanksgiving Day is all about. Let's fight for it. Ipaglaban ho natin. Because it is the will of God for us to give thanks. But lastly, Hindi lang ho nagta-travel. Doon sa tatlong celebration of Thanksgiving, they don't only travel, they also gave an offering. Every time, there was an offering that was given. 
I'm just skipping on some of the notes and uh, let me just say this. Each of the three solemn feasts that Luhusha, not Thanksgiving, one, the Passover, or the Feast of the First Fruits, two, the Feast of Weeks, which they call Shavuot, which means weeks, or Pentecost, or Harvest Festival, and three, the Feast of Tabernacles, required sacrifices. The Feast of First Fruit included the first fruits of barley harvest. The Feast of Weeks was in celebration of the first fruit of wheat harvest. And the Feast of Tabernacles included offerings of the first fruit of the olive and grape harvest. Tingnan na lang natin to, Deuteronomy chapter 16. Ito po sila ang celebrate ng Thanksgiving. Celebrate the harvest festival to honor the Lord your God, to bring Him a free will offering in proportion to the blessing He has given you. Do this at the place of worship. Meron hong kasamang offering. Psalm 116, verse 17, I will sacrifice a thanksgiving offering to you. Psalm 50, verse 23, Those people who truly honor me are those who bring me offerings to show thanks. Anong ibig sabihin nun? May pagbiyabiyahe. Merong sacrifice. There was somebody who was once time leading praise and worship. And as he was leading praise and worship, he would ask me, GBA, hindi pa wala GBA pa nun, Sister Gina pa. Sister Gina, yeah, pag-pray mo po kami. Ako kasi hindi po ako nakapag-practice eh. But I will lead praise and worship later. Sana i-anoint ng Lord for the sake of the people. Kami naman, pinag-pray namin siya. Aba, in-anoint ng Lord. Gumalaw ang Diyos. The Lord moved in a spectacular way. Pasalamat siya. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your prayers. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Bait-bait po talaga, Panginoon. Wala kang katulad. Okay. Problema, the next week, she was assigned again in the youth fellowship. She led praise and worship without practicing again. She came to me again and said, hindi ako nakapag-practice. Pag-pray mo naman. Pag-pray aming ama. Pag-pray yung maawa kayo, Lord. Sana it wouldn't mess up. Aba naman ang Lord. Blines na naman. Panginoon, ang bait-bait mo talaga. Aming ama, wala kang katulad. Wala kang katulad sa iyong kabutihan. Thank the Lord. Aba, nung pangatlong beses, hindi na naman nag-practice. And this time when she came to me, I said to her, you know what? It's not what you do for God. It's how much of who you are is in what you do that matters. That sacrifice. It's not just our coming here. It's, ano ba yung sa loob? Was there really an offering of the self? Because that one affects our entire life. Some of us have received our, our fruits of harvest recently. Some of us perhaps have received a new blessing. Some of us perhaps are in a new chapter. Some of us actually were ending this year and we're entering a new chapter. Personally, I think the church is entering a new chapter um, because I feel that the Lord is opening the path towards us turning this facility here in LA as a template for all other facilities that we have, which is a place where people can come for a time of recluse, a time of hiatus, a time of yin, a time of pause from their lives. And I just would like to suggest that. Alam niyo, isa lang ang scripture ko for this Thanksgiving. Ito po yun. Psalm 63, verse 6. Ito ba scripture nyo? Yan. Psalm 63, verse 6. If I'm sleepless at midnight, yan. Mga 12 midnight, hindi makatulong. I spend the hours in grateful reflection because you've always stood for me. <laughs> and sometimes, it's because our thoughts are lingering. And um, maybe I did not want to admit it before kasi... Pastor ako supposedly, tsaka supposedly prayer mountain pastor. Hindi ako na anxious dyan. Pero recently I was thinking, I come to realize, pagka hindi ako makatulog, and then I spend time just to have time of quiet, nakakatulog ako afterwards. And I come to realize, we really, sobrang importante pala, instead of counting sheep that go up and, you know, <laughs> jump over the fence, what about count his blessings, name them one by one, as the song says. I think we're there now. We're entering a new time. And if I may just suggest, offer elements of gratitude. 
If I ask you, what new recommitment can you do? Maybe some of you are serving. Baka wala na yung element of sacrifice. Baka you might want to say, Lord, I'm starting to be grudging. I'm starting to, it's starting to become a task. Maybe you're a huddle guide. And that requires sometimes lack of sleep, long nights, lots of preparation. Maybe sometimes you feel as an environer, I don't want to get out of my comfort zone. I don't want to reach out to people. Sometimes we think, I think itself, which is supposed to sanctify all the blessings that we have received. We have not been faithful to it. We've set a time, we are here. We are to sing thanks, say thanks, live thanks, offer thanks. That's the realm of thanksgiving. Sana, 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 Pinnacle Village would be known as a grateful people. There's happiness, there's positivity amongst us. And we live more in our mission because that's our offering of thanks. If I ask you today, as we end, what's your offering of thanks? Ano yung sinasabi mo, Panginoon? I will not offer you anything that did not cost me anything. I will wake up earlier. I will practice more. I will reach out to people more. Lord, ito lang, sa itong to na mga pinangako sa'yo that I am not faithful in, and I promise you this before, I make a recommitment. Let's put offering. In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God. It's a different Thanksgiving today. It's a different anchored. It's our way of ending today. We will end differently today. We will end by recommitting our lives as a village. We will end by asking the Lord, give me a grateful heart. Let me fight against the natural tendency to be ungrateful. Make me take time to travel. Set apart days where it's just, I'm just doing this for you. Lord, let me think thanks. Let me say thanks. Let me live thanks. Let me offer thanks. Can we all stand up at this time? Let's all stand up. Can we just close our eyes for a moment? Sa atin na mga nasa sa on, online, those that are in San Francisco, New York, and in other portions of the globe, if you're gathered together with others, can I ask you to just say, just have a moment. Can you just start saying thank you to the Lord? Make your pledges. Make your offering to God. Lord, the truth is we have not thanked you enough. Even if we live our entire life for you, it would not be enough to say thank you. Aming Ama na nasa langit, we ask your forgiveness. The way that Lincoln did for the nation of America many years ago. For the times that we have not acknowledged you for who you really are. For the times that we have not thanked you enough with our lives. For the times that we have considered serving you as a burden or a task. For the times we have forgotten your blessings and have lived in doubt or we have questioned your ways. For the times we have become proud the times that we have been boastful 
towards people haughty in mind when we associate with others. But thank you, Lord, for your forgiveness. We thank you for your unloving grace. For your unloving, uh, for your loving grace. We thank you for your unconditional love. And Lord, as we end today, Lord, uh, the entire year 2022, for all that we have experienced, for all the journeys you have given us, we the pilgrims, Lord, who travel not only from external, but travel from within. Lord, we are happy in you, for our strength is in you, and you make us even stronger. Turning our valleys of Baka into pools of waters of springs. Panginoon, maraming salamat. Lord, we give to you our offering now. Can you talk to him at this time? Can you be the one. Sanctify us, O God. Sanctify the entire village. Pilipinas, Australia, Dubai at Europe, at ang buong Amerika. Set us apart. We are yours, Lord. Use us, Father God. Work us in us and through us. We hunger for the Holy Spirit to always work in the souls, Lord, of each one of us, of our loved ones, of the second gen, of your village. Knock on the doors of our hearts. Nudge our souls. Call us to you, O Lord. Widen our minds. Deepen our burdens. Help us to stay in sync with you. Help us to walk in step with the Spirit. And do beyond all that we ask or ever imagine. For you who started your work individually in each one of us is the same God who had started his work in us as Pinnacle Village. And you are faithful to complete it from generation to generation. We offer to you our last song of thanksgiving as we prepare ourselves for the communion. We thank you, Lord.